this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore and today I'm sharing a really quick and easy lollipop holder and they are super cute. I um, made these because I had scrap left from my Sunday project and it was actually the perfect size to make one. This one I made using our crinkled ribbon because I had some of the crinkled ribbon cut already and so all these pieces that I used to make this was scrap from my project on Sunday so I'm gonna do another one but I'm gonna use the finely woven ribbon like I used on this one so we're gonna do a berry burst one this time and they will all coordinate with the exact same ribbon and the same um, designer series papers these are all our 2017 2019 in colors and so it's um, fresh fig um, I'm always forgetting fresh fig this is tranquil tide berry burst and lemon lime twist you know I know these two for sure I use them constantly I love those two colors so let's get started with this project all right so you're gonna need a piece that is nine by three inches and this is again the berry burst and then you're gonna need a piece of whisper white that is two and three quarters by two and three quarters so let's go ahead and score this these go super quick and easy so they're great for party favors so you're gonna score it at three at three and a quarter and at six and a quarter and that is it so get your bone folder and sharpen your score marks. And then what I'm going to do is I'm using, this is our, I believe this is our quarter inch hole punch. You can use any hole punch, it's about the size of an average hole punch. Um, and then what you're going to do is I'm just taking it all the way to the end and I am just punching a hole between those two score marks the quarter inch there and it comes just about to the center can you see how that's in between those two score marks and then we're gonna grab a lollipop and these um, lollipops are from the Dollar Tree they are the mini carnival pops I love these there's eight in a the package they're very economical to do for school parties so I thought this would be a perfect little birthday like the kids could take for their birthdays. So you're going to just stick that in there and we're going to close this up and we're going to leave it like this. You can, if you want, put some snail on here, but I thought it'd be best for, um, to do it this other way and so that they can just untie it and they won't mess up the project. But most kids do tear them open because they just want to get to the sucker, but it's a really cute presentation. So we're going to take the three and two and three quarters by two and three quarters and we're going to stamp it. I'm going to use my Memento Black and it says cue the confetti. It's so cute. It is from this per picture perfect birthday and I love this set. It's so perfect for birthdays and these are little candles. It's got the little blower here. I thought that was cute a bow and then all the sentiments I love the way the sentiments are written with the um, cursive writing so that's the stamp set so we are going to go ahead and stamp the cue the confetti and you're going to stamp it a little bit more towards the top and then we're going to stamp the happy birthday from the same stamp set and this little space between the happy and birthday fits pretty close between that where that F hangs down so that's how I did that so you can see it like that and then I'm going to take the berry burst and I'm going to use the little confetti that comes in the same stamp set and I'm just stamping the confetti all over this it's so cute and I just stamp like crazy 
All right, that is it. Now we're going to take the same hole punch and we're going to punch a hole on this side and then one on this side. And I'm just eyeballing them to make them even. Now I'm going to use some fast fuse and I'm only putting adhesive above those two little holes that we just made. So we're going to bring our little holder back and we're going to put this on the front here. And then I'm going to grab my ribbon and this is going to hold this closed if you don't um, put any snail on it. So you're going to just put a piece through this hole. And I'm going to bring it around the other side. And I'm going to cut another piece. If I can grab my ribbon scissors here. It looks so cute with all the coordinating in colors. And then you're going to just run this other piece through the other side. And it's going to hold this holder closed. And we're just going to tie a knot. Make sure it comes around to the side. You pull it up to the side just like that. Make it ni nice and neat. Pulling it really tight, and we're going to just cut just like that. See how quick and easy that is? And it's such a cute little fun project. And that does hold your treat holder closed. And it's super cute. So here are all of the other ones. And this one, like I said, I used the crinkle ribbon. You can see the difference on there. So if you have the crinkle, you can use that. But I really like them all coordinating with the same ribbon. I think they're super cute. <laughs> so that's it, everyone. It's a quick and easy way to present a really simple little party favor. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And hit that little bell so you get notifications every time I upload a new video. If you need any supplies, you can go to my blog at stampingwithamore.com and shop right from my blog. Have a blessed day, everyone. I'll see you later. Bye.